What up, dude? Oh, what up? This is good. <laughs> How are you? Are you standing against the wall there? Or you want to, how would you want to do it? Whatever you walk. want. You want to walk? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah? Alright. Kind of thirsty. What? I just got a gold tooth. Right there. Ah, you can see it? Yeah. <laughs> so what's your small story? Would you tell us to start off that way? My story? Yeah. Uh, uh, well, I wanted to be an artist. You know, I wanted to live in New York. And, and I want to be an artist in New York. You know, that was my dream. I just want to be an active member in my community, really. I wanted to get busy with my friends. And, you yeah. know, I, li I like to paint, you know, and I, I like, all, you know, all my friends were musicians, really. So, I, you know, that was, that was inspiring to me. I wanted to be an artist. Um, so, that I, you know, I started painting. You're up against this, yeah. So you started working now? Painting, and then I then I started doing metal smithing and working with metals, and I became a jeweler, and uh, started. What's metal smithing? What's, what's that? Metal smithing is uh, making sculptures uh, or uh, you know bending metal, fabricating metal, casting metal, yeah, um, sheet metal, pouring metal, melting metal, um, grinding metal, shining well, how, metal, you end up, polishing that, metal. How'd you end up doing? What was that? Is that your passion, or you just happen to? Learn it from school, or I ha I took I took one class, and then I I got a job as a polisher, and then I got a job as a caster, and then I got a job at a supply house, and then I got a job at a platinum house, and then um, you know all the while I kind of had my own studio on the side, yeah, yeah. and I was making stuff for my friends and learning from uh, jewelers that I shared studio spaces with, and and um, you know I would I would I would you know I would represent, and I would get orders, and I would. I would make things for my friends as I learned yeah. what I was doing, you know. So, you know, I'm a, I'm a jewelry maker in New York, and and that's 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 my story. Talk about know? your jewelry collection. It's kind of wicked. I mean, like you do doing sports. Okay, you do I got a brand. Right? Okay, a brand. I got a brand. Yeah. Well, what is that? What does that mean, right? What is that brand? There's a, there's so many <laughs> brands, you know. What is that? What is a brand? Yeah. You know. I just like to make stuff for people to put on their bodies, you know. I like to make things for people. What's your brand called? What's your name? Of your It's called Gabriel Urist Inc. This is just my name, Gabriel Urist. And uh, so I've been doing jewelry for 13 years and I've had my company for 5 years. Oh, really? Yeah. But what is it? What has it been, man? I mean, what is it? How's, how how difficult was it to get discipline? You know, how was it difficult was just to Always learning. Still, you know, discipline and focus and 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 work ethic is the. I mean, you could do anything. You know, you could do any job, any yeah. occupation. You could do it. The hardest part is just getting there in the morning, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. So, and and no matter how hard I work, no matter you know, I always feel like I could work harder. You know, I could have worked harder. I could have done more. I could have been working harder, but. But rings, yeah, necklaces, bracelets. rings, bracelets, hair clips, tie clips, tie clips, you know, ankle, ank anklets. Mo I do mostly necklaces, medallions, mostly pendants. Okay. I do. I've been, I've been doing a lot of wedding rings. Oh really? Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, What's some of the clients? This is some. Right? This is something I made for uh, my friend Eric Hayes. Yeah. It's a star. He drew this picture and I made it in, you know. That's the whole game really for me is taking two-dimensional pictures and making it into three-dimensional objects, you know. So, I mean, in New York, everybody's got a logo. Everybody's got a, a brand, right? Yeah. So, I, I, it's the market here is kind of taking that logo and making it into something metal, you know. Yeah. Whatever you want to say. These are just some metal, some some pieces that I made. Hmm. This is a boot. You know, I make these things out of metal. I cart wax over here, and I finish the pieces over here. I'm working on an order right now for the Orlando Magic for the store and stadium. This is the Orlando Magic logo. Oh, okay. So with that, you just come up with various creative just extensions of it. No. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't modify it or change it at all. It's okay. just the logo. Okay. What is this machine called? What machine? This. This, this is my workbench. Workbench. I call it my launch pad. <laughs> this is my torch and my light and my Fordham. And um, 
finger sizers, stopwatch. Finger sizer. Right now, I'm, yeah, it tells me. Well, I'm developing a uh, hardwood classics collection uh, out of wood for the NBA. Uh, you know, I've been in you know, creating these jewelry collections inspired by basketball. The game basketball, so I did mascots. Yeah. Uh, you know, the team logos, hardwood classic logos, and dog tags. But the hardwood classic logos, I'm making them out of wood with metal inlay inside. Okay. And uh, I'm making a, ba a sculpture out of a, a basketball hoop and a backboard. <laughs> and uh, I want to start painting again. But uh, uh, what came first, the painting? Yeah, painting came first. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's how I started. Yeah. Now, how do you end up with the work with the NBA? Um, they seen some pieces that I made. They just came across my website one day and hit me up, asked me if I'd be interested in working with them. And um, <laughs> so I've been working with them for for five years now. If you weren't a jeweler, man, what would you be in New York? What would you be doing? I'd Excuse be me. a professional basketball player. Okay. I'd probably be a Nick. <laughs> I'd be a Nick, most likely, but I love what I do, you know, so I'm going to be a jeweler, you know, yeah. and keep perfecting my skills and working on my craft and all that. <laughs> Which, you know? What's the goal? Is the goal ultimately have a studio the store? Goal, the goal is to have a basketball court in my studio and have kids come over and, and uh, you know, when they make mistakes, if they, if, they, if they mess up the piece, you know, they can do laps, they can do push-ups, <laughs> you know, but the goal is to have basketball court in my studio and teach kids how to do it. You know? Oh really? So teach the kids how to make jewelry with the yeah, kind of teach kids how to work with their hands. Because really, you know, nobody, t no, nobody, nobody in America anyway, right now. Yeah. You know, they don't really teach. They don't really tell young people to. Uh, you know, they don't. They don't tell kids that they could be a carpenter, or that they could be a, yeah. a, 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 a an artist, or work with their hands, or a plumber, or yeah. anything like that. You know, it seems like the focus in America is really like, telling you know, kids want to like. I don't know. It's I like, agree. I hear it's you like say. T they're teaching kids. It's like we're breeding, we're we're breeding marketing consultants and P and PR people and people to kind of consult and outsource, and and it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be like I don't know. I'm I jaded, think. you know. I think about this stuff all the time, so I, my opinion, like my opinions, kind of yeah. jaded about this 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 um, people's jobs and what people do and you know people's work ethic. You know, but I, I believe in working hard and, and doing work and, yeah. and working by yourself, you know? Do you feel like you have to go to school in order to do what you're doing? Or uh -huh. A lot of jewelers are like third, fourth, fifth generation jewelers, goldsmiths, yep. you know, that's in the family. But in, in, uh, in the States, I don't know, maybe I'd go to Germany if I went to jewelry school or go to Japan or something like that.